Today we will be talking about the first computer and the people who made it. The ENIAC, which stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, was the first general purpose computer ever created. It took up an entire room and weighed over 30 tons. It is even more unique because it was completely programmed by women, six women to be exact. Their names are Jean Jennings, Frances Snyder, also known as Betty, Kathleen McNulty, Marilyn Westcoff, Frances Bielas, and Ruth Litcherman. Everyone has their own unique story, like Kathleen, who immigrated to America from Ireland when she was a kid. This is Jean and Betty's story. Jean Jennings grew up on a farm in Missouri. She went to the University of Missouri and graduated with a math major. She then saw an advertisement that the government was looking for women who had good math skills. When she was hired, she got on the next train going to Pennsylvania and was there within a day. At the University of Pennsylvania, she and many other women became computers, not actual computers that we would think of today. Betty Snyder was born in Pennsylvania into a family that put great importance on education. She was given a scholarship to the University of Pennsylvania for mathematics, but her first teacher was a Russian professor who did not believe women belonged in college. Subsequently, she switched her major from math to journalism because she didn't want to deal with him anymore. After World War II, Betty wanted to help out her country and so she applied to join Women Accepted for Voluntary Emergency Service, also known as WAVES, with her sisters. She was denied because she was cross-eyed and so she found the same job as Jean and was hired. All of six women would, for 48 hours a week, make calculations of ballistic trajectories. Two men, John Mockley and J. Presper Eggert, designed the ENIAC to do these calculations much faster. Because men were away fighting in World War II, Mockley and Eckert needed intelligent women to help program the computer. They weren't allowed into the room originally because it was a top secret project. They had to learn how the entire computer worked using only blueprints. Because of this, the women learned that what each tube and switch did specifically and it made it easier to debug. Jean Jennings was the ringleader of the group and Betty was known for being the critical thinker and problem solver. Later on, they were allowed to go in and actually change around the components of the ENIAC. The ENIAC was finally introduced to the public, but the women's contributions were overshadowed by Mockley and Ecker. It took 50 years for the women to get proper acknowledgement. All six women were inducted into the Women in Technology Hall of Fame. Betty and Jean were both awarded with the Ada Lovelace Award and became a part of the IEEE Computer Society. Betty Hopperton once said, I had a fantastic life. Everything I did was the beginning of something new. Women have been hidden from the technology field and some still believe it is only for men. All six women didn't say anything about getting any acknowledgement because it is a man's world and that was how it was back then. They led the way for modern technology and for women as well, showing that women can do more than being just a teacher or staying at home. Many of these ladies went on to the technology field and still inspire us today.